everybody, this is Nathan, and I'm back with a little bit of a different uh, video this time. I'm sure you've probably seen it on the other YouTube channels, but I, I just had to post it on mine as well, because this is just fantastic. Um, earlier on, I had posted a video on how to do the coin exploit in Novigrad, where you would be able to buy a bunch of pearls, you know, seashells, break them down into pearls, and then sell them for a lot of money. Well, the other exploit, you know, they solved that pretty quick, Project Red, just made it to where the, the guy who was selling them no longer sells the seashells, so you cannot exploit, you know, that for money anymore. Well, this one was a lot more of an entertaining way they handled the problem. A lot of people would go um, to White Orchard early on in the game, and they would go to the first town area, and they would just keep slaughtering these cows. And when you killed the cows, it wouldn't happen all the time, but they would drop like uh, either milk or cowhide, and you could turn around and sell it and make a lot of money that way. And what people were doing is they would come here, kill the cows, meditate for about a day or two, and the cows would respawn. And you could do that in a never-ending loop and get tons of money that way. Nowhere near as much as you could with the uh, pearl exploit. But, you know, this one, you know, people were doing as well. There's some other ones too, but I'm not going to mention them. I want to see uh, how they... Uh, take care of that problem but they handled it in the most clever way i could ever imagine you know instead of just doing something like lowering the value of what the uh, cows would drop or um, removing the cows altogether, um, they didn't want to screw up the economy of the game but at the same time they wanted to teach people a lesson for trying to exploit it so they came out with this when you kill too many cows you have this guy show up chort yeah you have the chort show up and um, he's um, got a nice little name. I call him the Cowhide Obsession Respawn Terminator. And uh, it's amazing because he's like, I think, a level 27 uh, monster. So if you're a high enough level, you can kill him. And uh, they got it set up in a nice little way to where if you go ahead and you kill the Cowhide Obsession Respawn Terminator, another one will just spawn. And then another one, and another one, and another one. They will not keep, you know, they will not stop coming. So, um, you know, if you're a low-level guy, most people were doing this when they were starting out in the game. It'll kill you pretty much uh, instantly. But if you're high enough character, you can't beat it. Uh, but I think it only gives like one, you know, experience point. It doesn't really give you any money. So you can't really farm the chort, uh, which is a nice, you know, this is the best way imaginable, the most funniest ass way I could ever imagine them tackling this exploit. And now it's kind of funny too, because if you get the chort to actually show up, which isn't hard at all, I think you kill like six fucking cows and he shows up, he will not go away. And the only way I've gotten him to go away is I had to like travel all the way to Novigrad and wait a couple in-game days before I came back and he was gone. Um, or you have to reload your, uh, your your save file because he will not go away. And it's funny too because uh, he gets pissed off and if uh, you don't let him kill you, he'll go around and he'll kill the inhabitants of the town. I mean, I, that's like a poor bastard fisherman right near the, uh, the water there that he pretty much killed first. And, um, you know, you can like leave the area and everything but if you don't like leave the area and stay really far away for a good amount of time he will not go away and i think this is the most brilliant way of handling uh, the problem of people doing this exploit and uh, even though it pains for pains for me to say this i really can't wait to see what other exploits people post not thinking if you post it that's how they find out and that's how they fix it but you know if you post an exploit um, you know they're going to do something about it, and uh, I just cannot wait to see how they do. Uh, I'll see, he just killed the fisherman down there, but and I just cannot wait to see what else they come up with to handle people that are like trying to break the game or exploit. There's uh, like some loopholes in it. Uh, so I love the fact they did this. This is fucking fantastic. I mean, you know, I haven't seen this in a long time. And a lot of games have Easter eggs in them, and not too many companies actually intentionally put Easter eggs in to detour you from bad behavior. So they're basically telling you, leave the cows alone, go out, make money the right way, because if you do try exploiting at least the cows here for right now, you will not walk away a happy camper. So, you know, mad props to them and uh, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel and everyone who views it and um, I think a couple other things I'll be doing a little bit later on will be some uh, videos of like the uh, Metal Gear game that was given to me but uh, other than that you know thank you for watching my channel 
And uh, please post your um, comments if you happen to know of any other uh, places you can go to do exploits. I can't wait to see how they fix them.